These crimes are down. This is commentary from James Brown. Violent crime in 2023 fell 6%, with murders dropping 13%, according to the latest FBI quarterly uniform crime report. Rape, burglary, and aggravated assault are down too. These numbers aren't final, but it suggests that when we get the final data in October, we will likely have seen the largest one-year decline in murder that has ever been recorded. Crime analyst Jeff Asher told NBC News. It's impressive, and President Joe Biden and the Justice Department are quick to claim credit for this one, and understandably so. It's a good campaign talking point. But if I've learned anything from a career in and around journalism, he shouldn't take credit for it because of two of the eternal truths I learned from journalism. Politicians have little to nothing to do with the trajectory of crime or the economy, and even honest statistics lie. If you look at statistics closely, you'll see more than one story. In this same FDI data, you'll learn that crime is up in large cities, and motor vehicle theft rose 11% nationwide. The biggest jump in the country is in my neck of the woods, the Northeast. In my hometown, Rochester, New York, Car theft rose 345% last year. President Biden, if you want credit for the ups, you got to take credit for the downs too. And if I were you, I'd stay clear of both. What do you think? Why do you think crime is down now? On that note, I'm James Brown. And as always, be well.